Hi, this is David. Uh, this is the um, quick site admin walkthrough of the tool belt here. Right now I'm going to tell you a little bit about the site information tool. This is where the global information of your quick site will reside. Your banner head, your email that goes to the contact, the site name, uh, whether you want the site live or not. Um, oftentimes you may not want it live because you want to work on it before people see it. So here you'll see like site name, you'll include that there. The info that, or the email that you want to send um, emails to when somebody uses the contact us, is the site live or not? You can select the color scheme of the of the particular site if you're not uh, if you'd like to change up or whatnot. And also, it shows you where this is a place where you're going to load the banner head for the site. These these items all carry throughout the site on each and every page. For the banner head, you want to make sure that it's an RGB image, it's a JPEG image, and it's 980 pixels wide, and that's for the Quick Sight 2. The instructions for the Quick Sight 1 will also tell you how wide that, fo that photo image should be. Um, if you want to have an external blog, you can have um, you could kind of put blog up there and that's going to go in the top navigation of your site so you just type in the title that you'd like for that blog and then you'd link it to the URL of the blog say it's a WordPress blog or whatnot it'd be uh, you just link HTTP colon slash slash my WordPress blog dot com you can put a description of the site the site is about um, helping people build sites um, you can pick a category. These items all go into the Hut Dogs catalog of Quick Sight people. Um, so people, other folks can visit who have visit Hut Dogs can see who else is using Quick Sights and also take a peek at your business. So that's another way to kind of generate a little bit of traffic. The phone number, the fax, the address, the city, the state, the zip code. Those items all populate in the Contact Us area, so people can get a hold of you. Um, the subscription form code. That is the information that you'll need from like constant contact or some other um, um, form that you want to put up in the top banner. There's a spot in the banner that allows you to add that form. So, you know, say join our mailing list is populated throughout the banner so people can easily sign up for your email marketing. The Google Analytics code allows you to place a tracker on the site so you can actually go to Google Analytics and check out the traffic. Um, so you can sign, we have a little link here for if you don't have a Google Analytics already just to sign up. Um, walk through the steps on Google Analytics, copy that code and then paste it here in this box. And then always make sure that you save your changes. So once again this is the site information tool and that is the global information of the entire site which uh, is the name of the site, the banner of the site, the color of the site, um, uh, and a little bit of other things you know, like your contact information as well as codes for forms that you want populated in the banner head and if you want to have Google Analytics. So that's the site information tool.